I want to tell you this. I want to tell you this so you can see I'm brimming because I like I like this. I want to tell you a story about this uh, this old traffic sergeant I had. I didn't not like him. I, I liked him, but it, it was like it, it, it bullied me away. But I don't, it's one mean bullying. It was just I think it was just his way of dealing with things. I don't think he was good at people skills really. I won't give any names up, but I think if he watches this, he'll know he is. Yeah. And he had a massive thing for for vehicles. Now, I vehicle, massively vehicle proud, love my cars, I loved everything. So I tried to do everything by the book, but I just went through this period of fucking up massively and this period of just getting everything wrong that I touched. And no matter what I did, I just, I just, and you could see him getting so frustrated and angry with me all the time. And it was like, I think he wanted me off traffic at one point. In, in, no matter what I did, so I'll give you three ideas of what went on. So at first one, I'm out with John one night in VXR. This is how this is how my life is. So I could get in a pursuit and pursuit would go on for 20 miles, get out, arm rob, and it would be brilliant. You know, front page of all the news, I got in the car and I'm driving through Bradford and all of a sudden Claire shouts up, we're behind this stolen RS6. So she's pursuing it everywhere and just can't keep up with it. She's behind it, but just can't keep up with it. John looks at me and nods his and he says, go get him, fuck you. Yeah, top of my game here, up oh, straight up Manchester Road. And I'm giving it big licks. My driving's second to none. I'm, I'm, I'm crisp. I'm there. It's, it's all, it's all brilliant. If you want someone behind a stolen car, it's me. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm, gonna, I'm daddy of big balls at this point. It's parked up at Ruler Lane, uh, roundabout, sat there, and she's we're at Halifax Road towards uh, Ruler Lane. It's not at Ruler. Um, uh, the deal roundabout towards the deal roundabout. And John's like, right, it's coming. It's coming. And uh, so shout up uh, X-ray Romeo five two. I am called six at the roundabout. Oh, you can hear him on radio. I can hear Ben's here. I can hear really Ben's here. Boom, 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 boom. And his RS6 comes around the corner and you can see he got fucking hell. You know what I mean? So I'm sat there. I says, right, Claire, back off. I'm I'm game one here. It's on, it's on, it's on. Got it behind it on the roundabout. Extra Romeo 252 urgent. I am now lead pursuit vehicle. Round first corner. Boof! Hit the curb. Bit wheel off car. <laughs> X-ray Romeo 5-2, I'm a bot. And all the traffic cars come past me going, what a wanker. And I'm like, for fuck's sake, what have I done? And he was just, just going wrong. You know, when you just think, I can't, I can't get it any more wrong than what I've done. And they all, you can see Carl going in the distance, chasing his arrow. And obviously it went and it was like, I just fucked it all up. It just all gone. But like John says, oh, you know, Simon's so going to be having you now. And you know, you're like, can I just pack a car up and he'll never know. And he says, no, you've got no wheel. You got dragged into office, got a right bollocking for it. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have been doing this. You shouldn't have been doing that. Your driving is not up to scratch. And you know when you're thinking, my driving is fucking brilliant. And I've got one, one error. So I just thought, do I take it on chin here or do I, do I moan? So second time, three weeks later, uh, no VXRs in. So John says, uh, take T5 out. Took T5 out. Just driving around Bailden. And we go to this job, pull off road. Uh, I was just going to a little bit of grass, loads and loads of mud. But it's one of those cold, sunny days where you just don't want mud on your tyres, you know, you're going to have to wash your, wash your, wash your T5. So deal with this job and as we're driving off, I'm like, getting mud all over tyres, John. We like a car, a clean car, fast, goes a lot faster. We all know that. If your car's clean, it goes faster. You know, but... So I'm setting off and all of a sudden there's a, there's a little bit on Bale Moor. It's just like 10 feet long. You can go off road, right little bits of grass like this and back on road. Just flat as, flat as a crystal clear pond, not on it at all. So I said, I'm just going to go on there and get out mud off tyres, clean tyres. So she said, just don't bother, don't bother. No, I'm going to go off. So, so I just pull off. There's a fucking big roll, boulder there, isn't there, under a bit of grass. So, <laughs> sun comes off car. For fuck's sake. So, <laughs> Got to go back in now. Where's T5 gone? Yeah, sump's come off. Why's sump come off? What are we doing off road? Went to this RTC and are off road and... Caught some, so he looks at footage. Well, you've just dealt with RTC, where you're going, where you're I'm turning the car around, and I've got a right bollocking. One more, one more, and when I bollock you, you might be off traffic. Fucking hell. So, about three weeks later, um, three o'clock in the morning, pursuit comes in. We go at this pursuit, and um, driving around the streets, I come nose to nose with of a traffic car, and I'm having a chat, and he says, uh, how, how about that car? Whoa, just makes off again, right in front of us. So I'm like, come on, let's go. So we get behind this car and I'm adamant now, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, you bastard. So we go down a place called Upper Russian Road in Bradford. Everyone not Upper Russian Road knows it. And it's big speed bumps going up, like big, massive speed bumps. So I'm flying over these speed bumps. Whoa, it's like some, you know, 
LA. Vroom, doo, doo, vroom, doo, doo. And all traffic cars are coming, bandit cars going. Bandit car, don't give a fuck. But we, we, we've got to do stuff properly, you know what I mean? So at third speed, boom, boom, like that, one light comes on, flat tyre. Fucking bastard. So I pull into the side of the road, oh, oh traffic cars go past. Uh, come back five minutes later, they've lost it. So I'm like, what do I do, John? So we're getting out of the car, and the lad that I've just gone face to face with comes back all the way laughing. He says, I don't know how you're doing. He says, I've got a puncher. He says, I, I had a VX out all the way. He says, I got a puncher. I says, well, I need to tell the sergeant, don't I? He says, well, I didn't. He says, I just changed it and put it back at car. Leave some other fucker to deal with it. He says, that's not right fun, is it? You know what I mean? What, what, what? He says, well, at least I haven't got a, a tick against my name for damaging the car. So I'm like, all right, and jog on. So I got a boot car, fucking flat tyre. It's there with cracking. So it's the car, he's hard. So now I've got a flat tyre and I've got a cracked alloy boot. So the car's got to get recovered. Dragged into the sergeant's office in the morning, I've got a right back. And I just thought, he left about four months after that. But I've never been this petrified driving a car. As soon as he left, never had one bump since. And I just think he were an omen. He just didn't like me. The, the biggest, and this is where we're like, you could get in at the station at half an hour before you were meant to be on and he'd bollock you for being in early. So you'd sit in your car at one minute turn, you come in and he'd bollock you for being late. And you're like, I can't, I can't win with this. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Um, and he says, right, we're doing, we're going to trade tricks on Wednesday. So you go through all your trade, get it all nice and neat. Then a lady called Claire came in from Professional Standards. So if you don't know what that is, basically AC12 of Silent Witness. Oh, is it Silent? No, not Silent Witness. What's, what's it called? You've just been on about it. Line of Duty. Line of Duty. Line of Duty. Uh, sorry about that. So AC12 of Line of Duty, that's what Professional Standards discipline and compliance. So they come in, check your chairs for anything that shouldn't be in there. So we've got this word, oh, they're coming in Wednesday. So I've cleaned out my tray out. Stood there and they come in, look at you. Hello, hello, hello. Start going through trays. So this woman, sergeant's looking through trays. Kim pulls out a pirate copy porno. Who's is this? For fuck's sake, he put it in there. This is a sergeant who's bollocked me for damaging. He put it in there. So I took him deal with that. But yeah, once he left, um, not that I won't sell to him, I would do, because I'm nice and courteous, but yeah, put him in so much pressure. And that's why I fucked up so many times. That, that were in my early stages of career though, when I was still learning. But yeah, so don't drive into a curb soon in R6. Can't clean Volvo tyres on a rock. And then if you do get a puncture and crack an alloy, own up and tell you. You know what I mean? Rather than put it in boot of your car. Because I had to suck for two pole then. Yeah, and I wasn't happy. And don't buy pirated porn. And don't buy pirated porn, yeah. <laughs> Fucking bastards. We've launched the Patreon channel. If you want to help out, please see the link below. Thank you. Extra Romeo 52, I'm now in pursuit. Oof! Extra Romeo 52, I've now crashed. I am not in pursuit.